Hello everyone, you're watching Military TV. It has long been a dream of aircraft designers to create an airplane that not only can fly long ranges at high speeds and carry heavy cargo, but can also take off, hover, and land like a helicopter. Such a plane would have the flexibility to handle many different types of military missions and would also have civilian and commercial uses. Here we go, we will talk about the Aircraft V-22 Osprey. Why is the Osprey aircraft so special? Don't go anywhere, keep watching the video till the end. The V-22 Osprey is a tilt-rotor aircraft that takes off and lands vertically like a helicopter and flies forward like an airplane. It is a multi-mission aircraft developed to fill multi-service combat operational requirements. This versatile craft has been developed by Boeing and Bell Helicopters. Boeing is responsible for the fuselage, landing gear, avionics, electrical and hydraulic systems, performance and flying qualities. The multi-role aircraft can transport assault troops and cargo, undertake combat search and rescue and fleet logistics support, and provide long-range transportation for special operations. On September 5, 2013, the Bell Boeing V-22 program also completed an initial test of the V-22 Osprey performing as an aerial refueling tanker. Well, before we discuss how this unique aircraft works, let us tell you the reason why V-22 Osprey was built. The remarkable progress for a program that was so controversial when it first began flying that Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney tried to kill it every year he held the job. Cheney managed to terminate a hundred major weapons programs during his tenure. The Cold War had just ended, but he couldn't do in the Osprey because Congress and the Marine Corps banded together to protect it. Now, in the tenth year since Osprey first became operational, it is clear that they were right and Cheney was wrong. It's not just that V-22 enables missions that were not feasible in the past, but it enhances the value of other assets already in the joint force. For instance, the Marine Corps has taken to splitting up its three-ship amphibious-ready groups when they deploy because there is a chronic shortage of such vessels for covering security challenges. The speed and range of Marine Corps MV-22s make it easier to sustain such dispersed operations since Osprey can quickly fly between the scattered warships even when they are many hundreds of miles apart. Or consider what the Air Force states in a fact sheet about its own variant of the Osprey, CV-22, which is used to insert and extract special operators in dangerous circumstances. The CV-22 can perform missions that normally would require both fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircraft. A long-range mission to rescue U.S. hostages in Iran failed in 1980 in part due to the complexity of coordinating planes and helicopters, leading to the development effort that became the V-22. Since it became operational with the Marines in 2007 and the Air Force in 2009, V-22 has proven its value and versatility over and over again in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Kuwait, and across much of North Africa. In the latter region, it has been used both to provide humanitarian relief during the Ebola crisis and to rescue downed U.S. fighter pilots during air operations over Libya. More broadly, it has enabled Marines to operate air-ground task forces from shore locations rather than ships because of the extraordinary flexibility and reach afforded by tilt-rotor technology. Now we will take you to see the aircraft systems and its design. Let's get started with the systems. The Osprey is a type of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft with a tilt-rotor design. The VTOL concept is an old idea stemming from the German Air Force at the end of World War II. Furthermore, the Osprey has two large three-bladed rotors that rotate in opposite directions and produce lift. Because the rotors turn in opposite directions, there is no need for a tail rotor to provide stability as in a helicopter. The wing tilts the rotors between airplane and helicopter modes and generates lift in the airplane mode. The Osprey can convert smoothly from helicopter mode to airplane mode in as few as 12 seconds. The major advantages of the Osprey over a helicopter are Longer range. The Osprey can fly from 270 to 580 miles. Higher speed. The Osprey's top speed is 315 miles per hour, which is twice as fast as a helicopter's top speed. 
increase cargo capacity. The Osprey can carry 10,000 pounds of cargo or 24 troops. Another advantage of the Osprey over an airplane is that it can take off, hover, and land like a helicopter. This makes it more versatile than an airplane for such missions as moving troops to remote areas, especially those without landing strips or conducting long-range rescue operations at sea. Like any aircraft, the Osprey has the following systems. Propulsion. As mentioned above, the Osprey has two rotors with three-bladed 38-foot propellers. Each propeller is driven by an Allison AE-1107C turboshaft engine that is capable of producing over 6,000 horsepower. Each engine drives its own rotor and transfers some power to a mid-wing gearbox. This gearbox drives the tilting mechanism. Fuel The Osprey has 16 fuel tanks, 10 integrated into the wings and 6 in the fuselage. The tanks directly supply the engines with fuel from the other tanks and fuel transfer is automatic. Depending upon the configuration of the Osprey, it can hold from 1,450 to 3,640 gallons of fuel. Cockpit Controls The cockpit of the Osprey holds a pilot and co-pilot. In addition, there is a fold-down seat in the center behind the pilots for a flight engineer. The instrument panels have multifunctional displays similar to the new glass cockpit of the Space Shuttle. There are also keypads used to interact with flight computers and sticks used to control the flight maneuvers. Communications The Osprey is equipped with multiband radios, AM, FM, UHF, VHF, for voice transmission and radio reception. Payload the Osprey can hold up to 24 troops and can carry up to 20,000 pounds in its cargo bay, which is 5.7 feet wide by 5.5 feet high by 20.8 feet long. It also has an external hook and winch system that allows it to carry up to 15,000 pounds of cargo in tow. Stowage When the Osprey lands on the deck of a ship, it can be folded up for downtime. The blades and the wings are both foldable. In the last part, let's take a look at its design. The V-22 is the first major airplane project to be designed entirely on computer. With computer-aided design, CAD, engineers were freed from having to draw a multitude of blueprints and could easily make changes in the design. The Osprey's airframe is made almost entirely of composites. Slightly more than 6,000 pounds of the aircraft's almost 13,200 pound structure will be made of a graphite epoxy laminate. The composite materials are very lightweight, about a quarter of the weight of aluminum. And because of the buoyant fuel sponsons, the V-22 will have good flotation characteristics in the event of a ditching at sea. There will only be about 1,000 pounds of metal in the airframe, and most of that comes in the form of perforated copper that will be laminated to the outer skin panels for lightning protection. So the right words to describe the Osprey aircraft are, fly like a bird and hover like a bee. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next episode.